Ronald Dump, uh, most tremendous business Jesus that there ever was. Only the greatest business, only the greatest Jesuses, the most incredible. We're here today with our friends at Burning Van to spread the good word about Burning the Van. Only the most tremendous van vans. Let me tell you, it's going to be crazy. We hope you have a great time. And a fine top of the morning to you all. Are you here to register your campaign? We absolutely are. I'm gonna need you to fill out this form and bring it back to me, please. Oh thank, you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Not, not in single thank you. I need you to form a single file line, please. All right, all right. Things constituents. My name is Harley Quinn. No relation. I am here running to be the supreme underlord of all uh, for your um, pride and joy. Uh, we are running against big they them. We need to take them down and bring the power back to the bottom of the populace. And we're bringing a full load to Washington. So you better look out, open wide, and spread the cheeks of democracy for us. Because we're coming. All right, all right. What about, what about issues that you were getting a hand job in the bathroom of the Capitol Hill during January 6th. How do you respond to those allegations? That doesn't sound like an issue. That sounded like it was a really fun time. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, and anyone else, I got a hand job for you as well, too. And there, this is Mr. Hand jobs for all. Happened. This happened on January 5th and 7th, and, and probably 8th, but not 6th. No one was at the Capitol on 6th. Harlequin, take it away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was my campaign manager over there. My name is Ethan and I'm running for Richmond Vice Council and uh, this is the party name is Ethan for Clownsel. Very original. Yeah. Our campaign is that bikes should be allowed everywhere. No restrictions on bikes. We're running a very traditional campaign. Bikes on streets, bikes in grocery stores, bikes in convenience stores, bike through the 7-Eleven if you want to. Bike anywhere you want. That's my problem. All right, Ethan, how do you say, how do you respond to allegations that you use taxpayer funded money to have a steamy affair in a motel with a bicycle? Me and my bicycle have a very professional relationship. I feel like that's been documented in almost all of our public appearances. Um, allegations that have come up about me and my bicycle have not been confirmed. Uh, there has only been a bunch of circumstantial evidence, uh, and I think that the courts will find when I go for the trial that uh, there was no ill. Uh, no, I didn't do anything wrong. I'll tell you that much. We're the peddling crusaders, and we're here on a strictly fixed gear platform, all right? The more gears you have, the more taxes you're gonna have to pay, the less steroids you're allowed to get, all right? One gear, the harder it is, the more HGH you will be on. Any questions? Yes, how do you respond to allegations that you actually have been having an affair with an 18-speed bicycle? <gasps> I would never. First off, it was a seven-speed, that's all I'll say. You're on the, the Jeffrey Epstein flight logs with an 18-speeder. Fake news. Can't believe it was in there. But there's actually a signed affidavit that says that you were on, on the flight receiving a massage from an 18-speeder. Who, 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 who signed that affidavit? Let you did. I've never seen it. It's pull, pull it up right now. Come on, folks. It's all right, my name is Stripe Prime. I'm running for office. Um, we are the Striping for a Better America Party. Our platform is we're going to do stripes everywhere all the time. Stripes are good for the climate. They, um, yeah, stripes for the climate. Uh, zebra stripes reduce heat. Um, stripes are good because they solve racism by making everyone different colors instead of some people being the same color. And our manufacturing can be so fucking good when we got to put fucking stripes on everything. All right, how do you respond to allegations that you've been primed underneath and you are, when elected, you are going to unveil that you are all one solid color? Um, so I understand those allegations and I understand why you'd be concerned about that, but you know, you really gotta have some fucking integrity and that's what we're standing, that's what stripes are fucking for. There's nothing hidden about a stripe. Fuck, I'll show you right now. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. That is one color. Oh, God. 
Mega Ha Ha here, representing the Mega Soda Party. We're gonna make Mega Soda bigger, and we're gonna envelop it all. All the states. We'll bring you the fucking school children free lunches, you know? We'll bring you all the rights. Um, and it's gonna come to you one way or another with our laser loons, be it that way or just accept it, you know? All right, one more question here. What about what about your really not mega hands? They're anything but. Hey, these are anything but. Wait, wait, give me your hand. Give me your hand. Look at that. You're moving my hand that's, up. That's Nordic blood right there. We're seven foot eight over in Megasota. Fuck right off and bring your ass. But what would you say about uh, the people who don't even think that uh, it's not enough to satisfy them with the size of the soda? It's not enough to satisfy them. Well, our hot dish will satisfy you. Our tater tot hot dish. You know what? Uh, that's all. Bring your ass. Come enjoy our lakes. We're gonna Hello, this is Bernie Bunters of the Dirty Stars campaign. We believe in uh, a free America, free everybody, free Palestine. And I would love to take any questions. I'm feeling great today. You guys look beautiful. Questions? Yes, yes. How do you respond to allegations that you got your balls tased in the Capitol? Uh, you weren't actually part of the riot. You just want, you just came in there and tased your balls. Well, first of all, let me congratulate you, Mr. Gatsby, because I can tell you are very updated on the news. This did, in fact, happen. I can't deny these allegations. Everybody has a dark past, and that's the way it goes. Uh, and I believe we're all free to blossom into beautiful butterflies after our dark past. Thank you. Uh, what would you say to allegations that the Q shaman was the true, one? Actually. Everything you've heard is true and more. And I promise I'll bring more to this beautiful position for the people of Richmond. Any more questions? Thank you. Hello, I am the Prime Masturbator, and we are the Tea Bag Party, and we believe in free orgasms for all and sick and ball torture for some. And we are here to make sure you are happy because we imagine that you are even as hornier now than you were four years ago. Masturbation is a win. <laughs> all right, where do you, how do you respond to getting a huge donation from the Graham Cracker family that is anti-masturbation and to allegations that uh, you are actually charging people uh, for cock and ball torture? Well, I would say first of all, they have a little secret, and the graham crackers are all a part of the fetish. So, they are not actually against it, but instead they were trying to cover up their secrets with graham crackers. Oh no, my campaign <laughs> manager's mad. The real secret is, they have a problem with dryness, you know. Mm, it's not good, the graham. The graham is bad. The graham is bad. It's really lighting is the best lighting. <laughs> You're wasting your own time. Okay, Lavatron here of the Swamp Bottom people, the worm. And I'm going to tell you about my campaign. The future is now. Worms have invaded the brain. We need to make more ground less wet. We're going to take mountains down. We're going to do it now. We need your help. Vote for me today. How do you respond to allegations that there is a br worm inside your brain that is actually controlling you? This, this entire campaign is for the benefit of the worms that are controlling your brains and trying to propagate more. The worm is inside your brain as well. Everyone, it's the future. I'm asking questions about you. The worm is not the, not about the worms in my brain. <laughs> the worms are real. We Keep love pivoting. the worms. We are better. We are better because of the worms. Pivot. 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 We need the worms. We, we need to also get everyone a mandatory sex change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Will. The party is the Jackhammer Party, and uh, uh, what was the last name? Sorry. What's your platform, man? Oh, uh, just. Put as many potholes in the city as possible for cars and make the bike lanes as good as possible. Yeah, uh, how do you respond to allegations that you just made all of this up right now? I didn't. I, ma I made it up at least 45 minutes ago. What, what about, like, right before I turned the camera on, you said, oh, shit, I don't know, I guess I'm going to go make it up. What, what does that say to the voters out there? Well, it's, it shows that I'm quick on my feet. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a you know, smart guy. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm confident. And you're, like, you're quick on your feet, but do you expect cyclists to be quick on the feet with all the pot potholes on the road? Well, yes. For the bike lane. Not for the, 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 the potholes are for the cars. So every man gets a pickaxe to put a hole in the roads, and we expand with all our infrastructure with the bike lane. Damn, Mushroom Supreme Deluxe. We are the Decay Party. We are here to feed you, eat you, and complete you with the side. 
man. What more do you need? First of all, I need to do this. Okay, ooh, thank ooh, you. Ooh, ooh. How do you respond to allegations that you got kidnapped, brainwashed by an enemy soldier, and uh, and you are now a Manchurian candidate set to destroy the country? Oh, those. Well, I will confirm them. That's what happened. See, now I have come back enlightened with the enemy's understanding of what is happening here, and I have learned from them, I have grown from them, and I have mushroomed them, and now they're part of me, and I will use them for good. Go. My name is Kar Kachow. I am with Destroy the Earth. What else? What's your party platform? Oh, my platform? Destroy the Earth. All right, how do you respond to allegations that you actually want to improve the world and make it a better place for everyone? Improving the world could mean destroying it, depending on how I want to improve it. What, a, what about Project 42069 that your campaign has been working with that shows that you actually want to make clean, drinkable water, breathable air, and friendly places for people to go to? More people means destroy Earth. But... Clearly, like your campaign, your campaign uh, advisors have all been secretly saying that they want to help the world, but you're out here saying you want to destroy the world. That doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure it does. He's not thinking about it right now. My name is Sam Spence. I am here with uh, Storm Lombardi Carter and in Insurrection of the Lombardi Kroger, and we are the Brat uh, January 6th. Uh, what is your platform? Uh, platform is uh, Insurrection of Lombardi Program. All right. If the results of it uh, have you as as the winner, would you still storm the Lombardi Kroger? Absolutely. And if you lost, will you still storm the Lombardi Kroger? Absolutely. Is there any situation where you wouldn't storm the Lombardi Kroger? There is no situation in which we will not storm the Lombardi Kroger. What if it's already closed closed down and there's nothing in there? We will go in and storm it anyways. Is uh, Nelly Furtado Duff of the Stolen Valor Party? We're taking, Shut up! We're taking a strong stand against the decay party. We believe that nihilism is trash and the future is bright. Um, we believe that uh, Jesus is transgender. God is the only source of valor, including the devil. You know what's so good about the land? All right. Uh, I've already spoken to the decay party. They're actually really nice and fake all the way. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel about them actually just being fakes? If they're being fake? Yeah. If Makes Decay sense. is fake, then that gives me hope for the future and that supports our mission of the future being bright and undecayed and rejuvenative. Like plants, like all you hear, the plants in the background chanting, that is the plants that will grow in the roots of our new society. Of decay will decay. Yeah, decay will bullshit, decay. The, Enough yeah. said. I'm Charles Dicksuck. D-I-C-H-S-U-S-H. It's German, don't worry about it. Uh, I represent the Pants Shitter Party. Uh, our platform... I shit, I shit my pants, man. Can you just... Can somebody bring me a new pair of pants? Uh, that's our platform. Alright, how do you respond to allegations that you uh, fucked a couch? Well, here's the thing, is that it was consensual. Uh, that couch was absolutely into it. And that catch and I are still on good terms, so I don't really know why this would tarnish my candidacy. Next question, please. There's no more questions. Thanks for shitting your pants no right problem. now. Yeah, no problem. Of their own volition. is Car DV, and I am the speaker for the Cars Aren't Real campaign. And we believe that cars are monstrosities that are hiding bikes inside of them. So we need to tear them apart and create bikes out of these metal boxes from which we can make even more bicycles. Out of these metal boxes that can produce more bicycles. I hope you're following here. Yes, you said cars aren't real. <laughs> cars are not real. But I was hit by a car on the way here. How do you contend with that? So it's a plant by the plant party to make you think there are cars, but there are not any cars. It's a plant. Plant. Here, this is your <laughs> oh, I'm going. Okay, hi, I'm Julio Jester, and we're with the Universal Basic Income Party. Plant. Um, what was the other question? What's your platform? My income. Platform basic income. <laughs> no plants. Stomping out the weeds. Stomping out the weeds. 
Um, we're gonna abolish cars, um, bikes only, Unbutton clown shirts. bikes. We're gonna pour bleach on these plants right here. Unbutton get shirts. them out of your business. Yeah. What else? What else was the question? Unbutton shirts. With shirts. Unbutton yeah. shirts. We have at least multiple buttons unbuttoned on every button-up shirt. You gotta make it slutty mini rings. Yeah. No more gay marriage. Um, <laughs> if I can't pull women, you don't deserve to either. Yeah. Uh, how do you how do you respond to the allegations that your the increase in buttons would cause a huge uh, surge in prices of everything? Well, that's just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. They're trying to create a problem where there's not a problem, Goad. Um, that's the first thing. They really want to distract us from the real problem, which is that we need universal basic income. Sound. Plant. 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 Plan. Modify your megaphone by taking it away and replacing it with individual megaphones for all people. We are stand here today. The party to decommodify your megaphone to end free speech. You can vote with your dollars by giving us money. We will share it and we will collectivize it and we will use it to end free speech. Who are you? We are the party. We are Poop Moo. The party to only own, own personal personal megaphone megaphone obviously obviously Only. all right how do you know have you looked at the polls that says that 96 percent of voters believe in no gods no masters no megaphones at every single event that they go to that is we're winning we are winning you don't understand that is literally a poll that means that we're winning if everybody has a megaphone nobody has a megaphone we can all end the megaphone big megaphone Big mega funny corporations control of the greatest horrifying free speechy thing that we can imagine. Also plants. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. Are we live? We're live. We're live. We're awesome. My name is Barbara's Bush, and I'm here with I'm I'm here with my companions, and we're here to to fight back against the cryptids. We don't. We don't believe that cryptids belong in this city. We don't believe they belong in this country, and they don't belong on our bikes and in our bike lanes. Wait, These the fuckers should not be here. Wait, Keep is, Keep is that me? <laughs> are, you, are you a cryptid? Your sign says press. It does not say that you... You should not be here. You should not be in this country. You should not be in this place. You should not be here in Richmond. You don't belong here, and you are stealing our jobs, you're taking up our bike lanes, and you should fuck off back where you came from. I don't know what forest, what state, what place that you originally came from, That's right. but it's not right here. I'm Bren, and we are the UBI for IBS party. That's universal basic income for all baddies with IBS, because why not? Um, that's our platform. What's the embarrassing question? What's the embarrassing question? You have IBS. You it took you... It took you... How long to in the bathroom before you could come in here? I had to hunt you down in order for you to do this interview. How do you expect to lead if you're always having to deal with the IBS? Can't we take Zoom calls from the toilet now? Isn't that allowed? That's legal. In my world, that's legal. Vote for us. Work from toilet. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. One last thing, though, okay? What kind of toilets are you into? I like a little bidet. I like the Japanese style ones, low to the ground, you know how it goes. With like lots of electronics on it? Yeah, yeah, lots of beeps, boops, different squirt levels. Ashford Gold would really like to make a contribution. <laughs> <laughs>
Play it. 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 Play it.